Mikhail Welsh to the Queen. But now, after five decades in the business, photographer Terry O'Neill has allowed a group of contemporary artists to use some of his iconic work and reinterpret them for a new ex exhibition. <laughs> <laughs> Terry Scotland. joins us now. Um, so, uh, this must be something that I would have thought that all of the pictures that you've taken um, would be like old friends to you. Right. And something that you could be very precious about. So, allowing someone access to it to fiddle about and change it. It, it must be quite tough. Oh, no, I couldn't wait to do it. Really? I mean, I, I'm re I, li I love art, and it's just an extension of, of what I do, and they've done a brilliant job at the gallery at the Rook and Raven, you know, where the show is. It's, it's really buzzing down there. So the pictures that... Who chose the pictures that, that they could use? They did. I let them pick whichever ones they wanted, because oh. I felt that was their entire. what about the artists? Yeah, did you choose? Yeah, the artists picked the shot that they wanted to do or use. Yeah. But did you have a say in who, which artists could have a go at No, 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 they just, the, the gallery named oh, five really? artists and, oh, and I, I just trusted them and they turned up trumps. I mean, I guess you, when you've, you're so used to an image for so long, you can only see it in that one way. Right. So it must be quite interesting to see where, looking at that, where that takes somebody else's mind. Right, and yeah, what no, they then go it is very exciting when I saw it, and now I can't wait to do more shows. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's go, through the, let's go through the picture. So, right. the original picture. So, talk us through the original picture and what was happening at the time with, uh, with Raquel. Well, she said to me once, I'm going to get crucified for, for wearing a, a bikini in that million years BC. Yeah. So, of course, my mind immediately goes to the crucifixion oh. picture. Anyway, I did the picture and I felt it, it could get misinterpreted and I didn't release it till about three years ago four years ago yeah. and then it, it's turned out to be a bestseller wow. and the, these artists have interpreted it in their way I mean th this guy behind you is brilliant I this mean is, this, this is my favorite yeah I know I it's, absolutely love it so this is um a Curtis, Curtis. Kulig. Yeah. Kulig I hope yeah, I'm getting American. his name brilliant name right guy. here um and so this is what he's done and behind it does it say love love you love, or love you yeah love yeah you, that's you, his you, famous you, trademark it's so nice. Yeah, it's brilliant, isn't it? I really, and can people, but if they come to the exposition, exhibition, I'm having trouble with that word. You are, I keep you? going to say exhibition, <laughs> which is stuff to say gallery. Gallery. Gallery, uh, can yes. They, can they buy these? Are these available to yes. buy? Yes. Well, it's only one of each. You oh, see. I see. So That's it's the one the, uh, Yeah, yeah, yeah. So oh. be substantial then. Yeah. Wouldn't it? I mean, t uh, Tamara Eccleston came in and brought four. Did she? She brought that one, three bardos together, you know, um, two things in the original and she's got a wall full of wow. them now wow. and Bill Wyman brought um, Terry Stamp and Gene Shrimpton on the flag by Pamela Glue which yeah. was great I mean it's buzzing down there you should go down there it's Rook and Raven yeah, Gallery it's just incredible so yeah let's, let's talk about uh, Sean Sean Connery behind you. right that that that, that, one there. that work the, the guy took in four weeks night and day it's done all by Barrow it's brilliant really yeah 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 that's it. We're looking at the original oh, here. You're that sorry. would be very clever if that was done yeah. by Byron. No, no, it's brilliant. But actually, brilliant. Let's, have oh. look, let's have a look at um, his interpretation of it now, then. This is the one that we're seeing. So he's done all of the... Gosh, I tell yeah. you what, though. The reflection, that's just incredible, yeah. isn't it? And what was it for you, um, actually taking that picture? Because you, you... I mean, you're a big Bond fan, aren't you? And right. particularly of him as James yes. Bond. So... It, it, do you have to sort of hold yourself together sometimes? I know that you've shot like the biggest stars in the world, but when it is somebody that you actually go, I, I do like Bond, yeah. you're my favourite Bond. No, I have a laugh, Sean's a laugh, a yeah. good character. Actually, I'm doing a, a, a Bond show in, uh, in um, September, October, I think, because yeah. it's 50 years of Bond yeah. this year as well, and that 50 was, years of the Stones. That was in, oh yes, of course. So well, it's a big year, 50 yeah, years, well, 50 that, years so of me, so that we all start <laughs> at the same time. That, that shot that we're looking at of, of Sean Connery there, was yeah. shot in Vegas, wasn't in it? In Vegas, yeah. Now, everyone was bothered about the way he looked and the clothes and stuff, but right. you're, not, you're not really fussed about the clothes, No, are no, you? no, no. So what was it in that shot? What were you trying to achieve? Well, he's just a great character. I mean, it's hard to get good shots of Sean, actually, because he doesn't actually work at it a lot. You know, you have to grab it. You have to sort of put your share of the work into it. But that's what you do best, yes, I think, is grabbing, grabbing yeah. that moment. Right. And the Bridget Bardot shot where she was, she was on set of, of yes. um, the film and when she was smoking right. the cigar. And it was that moment when the wind just caught her hair. I know, the last frame on the so roll of film. So incredibly beautiful. Yeah. Look at that. And I was surrounded by people. 
I'm not you know, sure it looks like there's nobody there. Anywhere, and the well. wind blew, and I just grabbed that shot, and I knew I had it. I couldn't wait to develop the film to see, and it was there. Well, James Dawes has, uh, has reworked that photograph, hasn't he? Yeah, and, into... Uh, Let's, have, uh, let's have a, we'll have a look at the uh, the reworking of that iconic shot. Oh, wow. Yeah. So That's he... one of the... She's brought three of those. There's one goes either side and the real shot in the middle. And it looks great. It'll make a fantastic wall display. Yeah. That's pretty cool, isn't it? And you mentioned the Terran Stamp and Jean Shrimpton yeah. shot. Let's, uh, let's talk, uh, yeah, talk yeah. through that one. This girl's brilliant, Pamela Glue. She's yeah. brilliant. So we'll look at your original first. Uh, yeah. there's, the, uh, there's the original yeah. shot. They were the two faces of the 60s. That's what I was trying to say with that. They've almost yeah. got the same eyes. When yeah, you no, they have. Like that. Perfect couple. Uh, haven't they? Uh, and, and then let's working. have a look. <laughs> yeah. That's really cool, isn't it? Yeah. It's Bill really Wyman cool. brought that. He loves that. So, you know, it's it's all happening down there. And um, somebody else that doesn't feature in, in the gallery, <laughs> say gallery, <laughs> um, is the late Amy Winehouse. And you no. you shot her um, a long time ago. Yeah, she, she will in another show. She will in yeah. another yeah. show. But into well, I shot her. For, I actually took a picture for Nelson Mandela. It was his... Uh, 90th birthday party and I just grabbed this one shot yeah. before she went on she'd come out of the London Clinic to sing in this concert and then mm. she went back into the London Clinic yeah. and I grabbed this shot and I got her to sign it for Nelson Mandela wow. this is 90th birthday present I know what a great talent it's a real shame and you, I know, well, you said in, in 2010 you said that she was one of the people that you would yeah. like to shoot again and actually spend a bit more yeah. time with her must be very sad when someone yeah. like that so iconic that you yeah. that will never you'll no. never get to do. Who that. else? Who is the, is, is there many. a list? Not no, many. No, nobody. No, I can't. Is really that think because of we don't have the sort of the, 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 that glamour of movie stars? Yeah, that they and they don't. They, and the PRs kill it. You know, they make people take pictures and they release one here and one there. It, all the time I had with these people was. Invaluable. I mean, well, I was invited also, into their lives. So. I suppose now, with the culture of everyone's got a got a camera because everyone's got their phone on them, right. that there are pictures of people, candid pictures, right. taken all the time, aren't yeah. there? Um, so if, if you were to say, right, OK, all right, uh, pushed, I'd like to photograph such and such, who would it be? Angelina Jolie, I suppose. Yeah. yeah. She's a good-looking girl. Isn't but there's she? not many of them. I mean, they all look the same to me. <laughs> <laughs> Brad Pitt's not a bad-looking guy. Fair Robert enough. Robert Downey's not another one, but, I mean, there's not many. Well, the uh, the exhibition, I'll say it, um, is, uh, is uh, not, not too miss. It's the, the, uh, the, the Rock and Raven Gallery. It's Rook in the uh, Rock and Raven Gallery in, uh, in London's West End. <laughs> You're not doing very well, are we? Yeah. And, uh, and you actually want to... You can take it to France and maybe use French. No, I'm going, to, I'm going to go to New York and going everywhere. Yeah. And this is Let's just the it. start of it. That's really exciting. It's like starting all over again. Yeah, that's no, a great all idea. With all different artists. Yeah. Lovely. Thank Thank you. Great to see you. Thank you. Thank you. Lovely, Thank lovely you, to see you. Thanks, Thanks very much indeed. indeed. Right, still to come with more movie star menus, and today we travel back in time to the film that launched Julia Roberts' Mystic Pizza to find out how the pizzas are made. That's right after this break.